What's up techies? I've got a rechargeable battery case for the Galaxy Note 5. This is actually a pretty cool accessory to have for a Note 5 because you don't have a removable battery anymore. So if you're out and about, you can't be tethered to another charger, this might be an option for you. Another cool thing about this is that it's 4,200 milliamp hours. So this is like, I think, what, a 3,000 milliamp hours? So it's actually a bigger battery than what the phone has. So you should be able to get a good, decent charge off of it. Pretty much all you get inside the box is the battery and a little pamphlet. The pamphlet's gonna kinda of tell you some of the specifications and how to get it all installed. So you can check out the specifications here for yourself, pause the video, you can take a look at it. And this also kinda of gives you a little breakdown of the structure and how to install it. This is definitely something to take note of. If you're gonna charge the phone with the battery case on the phone, the battery on the phone is gonna get charged before the battery case. So when the charging battery case is attached, data transfer is supported, so that's good. Then you get your power level indicator, so basically 25% increments with four different indicators. So here's the battery case itself. It's got a mask kind of finish on it. It doesn't come all the way apart, it just kind of stretches over. You got your USB connection here, and it looks like it's going to reroute the speakers to come forward facing, so that's pretty cool. Before we get installed, it's actually showing that it's got... I guess about three bars since the fourth one is blinking. It's going to be three bars with a little bit of four, I guess you could say. Another thing that I'm looking for is if this has any kind of rough texture at all because it's got a glass back. I don't want this case to be scratching up the Note 5. So it seems like it's going to treat the Note 5 pretty decently. Let's go ahead and get this all installed. And, you know, fortunately, I actually got a low battery. It's like at 15% right now. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Some first initial thoughts is like, I'm not really a big fan of all this being left exposed. I kind of rather have the side here because it does add some weight to it. It doesn't feel slippery in the hand because it's got that matte finish, but I guess I would feel a little bit better if it had a, like a left and right edge. All right, so in order to get this to start charging, you just press the back button here. You feel it vibrate, just like you would if you were plugging it up to any kind of USB cable. And then it starts to charge. Like I said, it was actually kind of pretty good timing because my battery is down to like 15%. It says 14% now, so it's pretty cool. Some of the useful or practical things that I like about this kind of setup is that if you're not near a wall, if you're not near an extended battery, a portable battery, or anything like that, and you need to charge your phone up, you're going to need to have something like this and this really does help you get by to where you know if you're out and about if you're just anywhere there's no wall if you're on a trip if you're camping outdoors or anything like that you're able to get this thing charged up i would say this is not going to be a daily driver kind of case um like i said i'm probably going to just kind of carry this around for backup i got the big android barbecue coming up pretty soon i'm going to be using my phone for a lot of photos and videos so i'm sure the battery is not going to be as great as just for everyday normal use so this is going to be really nice to have so i can still be able to use my phone portably without having to be tethered to anything and be able to snap some pictures and video while this is attached and obviously you can kind of let your imagination go wild of the other uses that you could get out of this but this is definitely a product that's worth picking up in my opinion so overall i like the idea of this and I think it's gonna be a pretty cool product to have. It's definitely like one of those good backups to have. And you can just simply take off whatever case that you're using, if you're using a case, and just put this on there. It doesn't add that much bulk. I mean, it's definitely double the size, but it's not really bad. You know, it, just for the fact of it just being a backup and just a way to power up your device without using a cable. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I kind of want to test out the speakers actually. So let's, let's do that real quick. Go with one of my recent videos. Let's go with another battery case, this time with the actually the tilt, which was pretty cool. So the sound is now coming out of this, these little channels here instead of coming out of the bottom. So it's like front facing speakers. That's pretty cool. The for the Galaxy S6 is 3400 hours. There's a sliding power case. It's a pretty cool thing. Best of all, it's got a wireless charging built in. So this is a very cool case for the S6. I hope that they actually come out with one like this for the Note 5. That would just be awesome. So just <laughs> it would be awesome if Tilt will come out with the battery case for the Note 5 like they did for the Galaxy S6 and the 6 Edge. It's really cool. I'll leave a link down below with that video because it's got a pretty cool setup. But yeah, like I like the idea of this being a front-facing speakers instead of coming out of the side. 
That's one of the things I'm looking forward to with the Nexus 6P that's coming to me in a couple weeks. So pretty excited about that. Anyways, this is a battery case for the Note 5. I think you should definitely check it out. I'll leave a link down below in the description. It's actually really inexpensive at the moment. So definitely check it out. Thanks guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel for more Note 5 content coming your way. And until then, stay techy.